NFL teams are seeing a spike in spreading the virus. Baker Mayfield placed on the reserve COVID-19 list. Jake today. Martin, Texans linebacker. Overnight, the news came out that he tested positive. Rounds in a statement saying that they were informed on Saturday morning that a uh, staff member tested positive. Vance McDonald, the tight end for the Steelers, has officially been placed on the COVID-19 reserve list. He tested positive. He's had a coach test positive a couple days ago. Now McDonald. Is the Ravens, meanwhile, have seven players on the COVID-19 reserve list due to close contact with Marlon Humphrey. Come to drug test, you know, we can all beat the cocaine. We can all beat cocaine drug testing. You have to stay away from it for three days or so. We could beat that, right? But for weeds, we got 45 days. Yeah. yeah. We got to wait 45 days yeah. in our system. And I think it stays in our system because uh, it belongs there. Weed comes out. I mean, cocaine uh, comes out because it doesn't belong there. Our body's trying uh, to get rid of it. Uh, 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 Tyson, uh, T- Tyson, they're, they're talking about testing for COVID-19, not testing for cocaine or weed. Um we, we're going to get to his story real quick. Uh, we'll just get right into it. We're Fuzz Jock Radio. Hey. I'm Fuzzy. We're here. We got I'm Jim. James <laughs> and C-Dubs. Hi, we're your hosts with the most. Man, I'm sorry about that that opening, guys. That really, that, that really threw me off Tyson. there. Tyson. Tyson. Tyson calling in. Um. So right away, let's just get that out of the way since that was kind of strange. That was weird. That that was not how we usually started episodes. Um, just about maybe an hour ago, uh, a bunch of news outlets started uh, posting that Tyson um, admitted to uh, uh, faking drug tests using um, Wizenator. Using a Wizenator, it particularly using Wizenator. Um, so we know that it's work. <laughs> definitely knows it works uh, so yeah that's the title of the article when you read the article that shows his quote saying that he used a wizenator sometimes he uses sometimes he used his uh baby's piss sometimes baby he, yep. sometimes he used his wife's piss but he stopped using his wife's piss because he was worried that they would find out that he was pregnant so yeah. he stopped using his wife's uh to, to what again to pass drug tests, right? Uh, before his big matches. How nefarious. Oh, horrible. What a horrible person. He must be using drug performance, uh, enhancing, and par- uh, pro- drug enhancing, enhancing, and pro- 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 what? how do you say it? What? Say it. Performance enhancing drugs. Performance P-E-D. enhancing drugs. He must be using, that's how he won, right? That's what, that's, that's what this be. article is saying, right? And you but he read was giving it, a drug enhanced performance. And you read it, and you're like, "Holy shit!" He admitted to faking a a, a drug test. Oh, oh fuck! He's not the what best boxer saying? that wow. we we've always thought he was. Or but is it that way? Or is it that way? So I decided, like a true journalist. Holy shit! I'm actually doing. I'm. Holy shit, dudes. I think this is the first true Fuzz Jock Radio journalism that we've fully, fully done. I looked into the subject, and this is what they were talking about the whole time. When it comes to drug, because when it comes to drug tests, you know, we could all beat the cocaine. We could all beat cocaine drug testing. You have to stay away from it for three days or so. We could beat that, right? But for weeds, we got 45 days. Yeah. We got to wait 45 days in our system. And I think it stays in our system because it belongs there. Weed comes out. I mean, cocaine comes out because it doesn't belong there. Our body's trying to get rid of it. It's just kind of mind-blowing, man. They're, the whole time, they didn't talk about drug performance-enhancing performance enhancing drug use. 
they were talking about weed use, and, and he had in the past multiple on multiple occasions have said that he's used street d- drugs. He's not shy about that. He's mm-hmm. never been shy about using crack cocaine. He doesn't. He doesn't like it. He's never been shy about using marijuana. He's never been shy about using cocaine here or there. Nope. There are pictures of him doing it. But he's always said he's never used performance enhancing drugs. Mm -hmm. And if you watch or listen to this podcast that he just did, he used the Wizenator to get past the test so he didn't show so weed didn't show up in his system that's the only reason why he used the wizenator is that wrong kind of shows it kind of shows that it's it's more wrong that they're testing him for it well who cares if he's smoking weed it's legal so in how many states now yeah i'm gonna do if those boxing what, matches then, occurred in south I'm dakota so right now <laughs> uh, south dakota funny. even well that south dakota that uh that 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 podcast even talked about um in that in Detroit or in Michigan the uh the boxing um re- regulating regulating people they can't have it in their uh, marijuana and THC in their system any iota of it some other places like there's um you know levels of THC that can be in your system most of them say that you can't be over a certain level and he was talking with the UFC the UFC drug guy and uh in Michigan where it's been fully legal for a couple of years now they can't have it at all in their system and like Tyson was saying you know it stays in your system for like 45 days and you're not even high. It's not even doing any benefit for you. And at the same time, is it even a a benefit to be stoned in the boxing ring? You know, I'd almost yeah, I'd yeah, almost it would think it bad. would be a de- detriment. Well, I suppose it slows everything down for people, right? That's how it works, right? It slows things mm-hmm. down yeah. and makes you feel good. But in in the episode too, if you and are not promoted by these guys at all, um, but they're they're uh this episode's great um uh it's off of jeff uh, no nov uh he's uh hot boxing with mike tyson so uh, it's right on mike tyson's uh, youtube um we, everyone's following that for sure already yeah everyone hits the bell and gets the notifications you yeah. know they talk about how other drugs are illegal to have in your system but weed is just a weird thing and um sorry i that we had to start off the episode that way it, it was breaking news so yeah. um so we had to get into it right away we had to break it we had to break I think it it's funny too that they're kind of hypocritical because what do you do right when you win a boxing match you pop bottles of champagne well alcohol is also a drug i mean i know we like to pretend it's not that's hmm. what that's what I got want to mention I wanted to mention is that uh, Tyson even mentioned um just think about like you you get you you get in a fight with somebody and you drink some beers and you drink some liquor and what happens somebody dies somebody gets killed but if you drink a lot of if you smoke a lot of weed while while you're in a fight with somebody what happens you start taking selfies goofy selfies with each other he says <laughs> He's like, you know, like you, you start getting along with each other, you know? So what the hell? Like alcohol's legal. And he's like, he was talking about how there's there's been boxers he knows that some of the greats couldn't get in the boxing ring unless they had a shot of whiskey before they went in. Hmm. Because they're, they calm their nerves. And he's like, this is what I do. I, I smoke a joint before the, uh, the night before the match to calm my nerves. What's the difference? It's a really good episode, and just listening to him talk about some of that stuff, and uh, and talk about a couple of the other things that they talk about, it's like you know this guy. Maybe maybe they're not, you know, like they always. I mean, yeah, he did some crazy shit back when he, when he was younger. Guy, not the best not guy the in the world, no. But maybe he's maybe after going to jail, um, maybe he's. Maybe he's learned his lesson and be, be, become a better citizen. 
you know, and maybe he is a smarter, smarter than a lot of people take him for. I don't know. Well, I know that to be true. He's got to be smarter than people think he is stupid, and he is not. And you know, we had we talked about this in in past episodes. You know, there there is a point in people's redemption line that they have to be redeemed, redeemed. You know, and if they if they want to go if they want to go the route of becoming a better person, we have to allow them to become a better person. We can't just always villainize them. With that, we are Fuzz Jock Radio. Um, we had some uh, hot breaking news there for you. I am one of your hosts, Fuzzy. We have our another hey, host, Jamez, and our another host, C Dubs. Hi, I'm C Dubs. Um, we're doing the intro again. Yeah, we 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 do three hosts. Uh, we're not co-hosts of each no other. No no intros, nothing. We, there's no hierarchy here. It's all anarchy. It's all like. It's all anarchy. <laughs> oh, we just got done with a Monday night football game that we thought was going to be awesome, but it ended up not being awesome because it didn't give I us know. more time to prepare for the show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it went? No, it it was uh it was supposed to be the underdogs against the big Bill Bilicheks of the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the that, Jets are supposed to get a win. The Jets, yeah. the underdog Jets, right. supposed to get the win. They were close, dude. They were so close. They, they had the lead. They way had yep. the lead. Yeah, they were winning. And like, what happened? Late Joe, twenty Joe seconds on the clock. Interception. What once happened? He threw that interception. It was yeah. Once he threw that interception, it was over. They they came steaming back. So. Uh, got the win. At the last couple moments of the game, the Patriots tied tied the game. Um, we're like, oh, shit. Well, shit. I even said it. I'm like, well, I'm going to go get some snacks. Yeah. Because we're <laughs> tied in the fourth quarter, in. just like uh, just like all the other Monday nights. And we got some time here, so let's get let's let's get some time. And and then and then what happened? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. You- Cam Newton happened. Yeah. They made and a bunch of first downs and got close enough for backup <laughs> kicker man to oh, kick his field it. goal and win the game. Big game. Yeah. He's the hero. <laughs> Pages win again. Go. Yeah. So, well, at least Cam got a win. He was not looking good. Um, They did some highlights of his couple last couple games. He's not looking good at all. Like, what? What the hell's going on with him? I thought he was an awesome quarterback. I think it's uh, <laughs> the Bill is doing what we talk about Zimmer doing. I think he's really doing that for real. What's that? The <laughs> I think he's he's letting the team tank on purpose. And since they didn't have a quarterback, they had to sign someone. So they were like, fuck it. We'll sign Cam Newton for a one-year deal. See how that works. Wait a minute. And uh, so he's just stuck wait. with the team that's incomplete. Wait a minute. 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 What? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> a lot to unpack. I'm like, this is a lot to unpack. Yeah. yeah. I wish I had an unpacking button here. Um. <laughs> so <laughs> they get- they got rid of Brady, or yes. Brady left. What, however you want to take it. They got. Let, let's say we're on Billichek's side here. They broke up. Billichek yeah. broke up with Brady. Right. It was mutual. No, I heard. Bill, Bill, Bill says that it's mutual, right? That's what I heard. Bill's like, it's mutual. It's mutual. It's, it's okay. And then he looked around and he's like, "Oh, we have no quarterback." And he looked at the uh, upcoming draft season and he's like. Well, there's there's this Trevor guy that everybody likes. Well, look, look, Zimmer, Zimmer's a smart guy. He's looking at this Trevor guy. That's what Bill's thinking, right? Yeah, he's like, well, so, I'm gonna look at that guy too. So how is so so? No. He, but he needs a quarterback now. So they they right. they say they, they signed Cam for a year. Is that one right? year? One Was year that deal. weird for people when that happened? Yeah, uh, people were surprised that one, it took that long for Cam to sign, and two, that it was for only one year. 
did Cam was he not negotiating for no, more years? He wanted more, but they came to agreement to pay him more for one year than to, you know, like they, they made a deal to do with one. He was fine with that. He bet on himself. Okay. So he has like, a lot of like if he, one year and lot, then he shows the, the team that how good he is, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what he wants to do. Okay. Okay. So he's it took, thinking it took them a while to reach that agreement. Everybody's like, they're only signing Cam for one because he's good. Yeah. Right? I like Cam. We, we all I like, like Cam. Cam, right? I mean, Cam is like the same kind of quarterback as all these other quarterbacks we love. I think he just needs to be put in the right team or with the right situation, just like anyone else. Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson, you know, sure. Lamar Jackson. They're all this. They are Cam after they, they took his game and made it what they do. So then... Okay. Then what? So then, yeah, Bill's just going to let the team... Well, they also have uh, of the most people who who uh, opted out of the season for COVID. So protection. that's right. That the, 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 the COVID came around. Mm-hmm. Bill's like, oh, shit. Eight, players. Eight, my, eight of my players don't want to play. They opted out, yeah. which is... Way more than all the other teams. Yes. Which is weird because it's Belichick's team. Why yeah. would they, they know that they would win anyway, right? And, and we were sitting there thinking, oh, well, it's because Brady is not there, right? But they got Cam. Because I think none of this is really stacking Brady up. What? I think even Brady would struggle in this team. I think so, too. And well, and I, I want to bring this point up. Bill Belichick has been in a lot of commercials lately. Oh, for what? He knows that they're not gonna they're tanking the season, so he's not gonna be getting as much money in from wins. So he has to make up that that profit by doing commercials. We've gotten to the bottom of it. He needs revenue. Even if he's tanking, he needs that revenue. Correct. He's not going to get a Super Bowl bonus. Mm -hmm. He's not going to get the win bonuses because they get they get paid extra, don't they? If they if they win, right? They do. I'm sure they do. Yep. Incentives and shit. Um, Oh yeah. Yeah. Huh. Well, he's trying to tank. He's got. Why would he literally? Beat the team that is going to tank more because he does hate the Jets the most. Because they've never one team he wants to stick it to, it's the Jets. Yeah, it's the only team I think Bill cares about genuinely wanting to beat. The other teams, it's like, okay, if I get a win, that's fine. I think you're right. It is pretty low bar, though. No, it's Bill. Have you seen him wearing you've seen him wearing hoodies without? sleeves on before oh is he that kind of guy yeah he's that guy well at least now you can cut your sleeves off so zimmer zimmer must have uh caught on to what bill's doing and he's like oh shit he's tanking better than i am we better we better start waning because the Vikes won again. Like, who the fuck are these Vikings? It's not the... Uh, you know, we're not very good. Team. They're not very good. We know. They're not. They're actually good. pretty good right now. Like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. What happened? Oh. I know. What happened? I know. What's what happened, that, Jameis? It was just make sure that Kirk Cousins touches the ball less. Correct. <laughs> yep. And how did that, that happen? Correct. Cook. Get the ball to Diggs. Cook? No. <laughs> Diggs is not on our <laughs> team anymore, dude. No. Uh, give, it to, the- give it to Cook. Yep. Because Cook is back. Cook is cooking up some yards, man. Mm-hmm. Cooking a- up something good. He's got the cookery and full cook-, cook automation. What? He had over 200, like he had 206 yards? Just in rushing. 
He had 252 yards uh, altogether. Crazy. Yeah. That's just crazy. Mm-hmm. Against AP. <clears throat> yeah, and that's, I think that was another thing. It was a statement. It was supposed to be a statement game for Adrian Peterson, and instead it was a statement game for Dalvin Cook. Yeah. He wasn't so. looking too happy on the sidelines there. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, the, the announcers yeah. did mention that they were that, that they are friends, you know that they yeah. they look towards each other, because um, like Cook was replaced AP, didn't he? After AP got hurt or left the team or something like that. Like, Once he was gone, yeah, but he, he was, was the replacement. Backup. He was the backup plan. Not he didn't ever back up AP. I don't believe. I don't think we ever had both at the same time. That doesn't sound right. No, that's not right. Um, so right. what? Kurt had uh 220 passing yards, three touchdowns. Three touchdowns. That's just incredible. Like, wow. <laughs> that's how much running space there was from Dalvin. Yeah, 206 uh running yards for Dalvin. Uh, 22 carries. 22 carries. Two touchdowns. <laughs> Um, Justin Jefferson, three receptions for, yeah, and see, look at that, the receptions, Justin Jefferson, three receptions, Delvin Cook, two, uh, Kyle Rudolph, three, Adam Thielen, two, so they weren't even barely, they were barely passing that game. Oh, yeah, 13 uh, completed passes only. Zero interceptions, which is a lot better than what Cook's been doing, um, finally. Kirk. And then our defense came away with, uh, three interceptions as well. One mm-hmm. run back for 16 yards, which is really great. Um, and four passes defended. Yeah, in that beautiful way. And a half a sack. So, mm-hmm. did you say half a sack? Yeah, half a sack. What's a half a sack? Barely half a sack. Oh. Barely half. I didn't get half a sec. With, it means there should be someone else with the other half. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm confused. There should be another player with another half of the sack. Better, That's how that works, usually. Better call the commissioner. You yep, gotta find the other half sack. Better call the commissioner. Yep. Because that gonna, one you know is... Huh. Maybe they can find some half sacks in uh, Pennsylvania. It's just kind yeah. of mind-blowing, man. It's in the, in the stat there. 0.5... Sack. <laughs> Point five sack. Is that three? <laughs> so yeah, the Vikings won thirty-four to twenty against the Lions. Um, great game. Uh, we're back. We're back, baby. We're not tanking anymore. We're gonna win the rest of our games, and we're gonna go to the playoffs, and we're gonna be awesome. Somehow, we're gonna win. Well, now Del- Delvin Cooks. Now he's, I mean, he's opening up the running game for us. And you know, now people are really going to have to be watching out for him, which is going to open up the wide, wide receivers. And mm-hmm, people are yeah. going to forget about Thielen and Justin Jefferson um, and Rudolph. And uh, it's just going to open everything up. And then hopefully our secondary just keeps up. Do we know what team that we play next? Uh, we can find out. No one does. <laughs> no one does. <laughs> They're waiting to announce the news of the uh, the next game. Uh, breaking After. news. <laughs> breaking news. Uh, I just got this in. Hot off the wire. Um, we actually will be getting the Minnesota Vikings versus the Bears next week on Monday Night Football. That's next Monday. That's next Monday. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. Dudes. So, Dudes. Vikings Bears. Here we go. Dudes, you know what that means? This is going to be a good one, right? Well, it means that we get to have a show after a Vikings game. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you get to tune Hot in. takes right away. Yeah. I almost forgot we were doing a podcast. Tomorrow's um, take today. So next week, look forward to our take on uh, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, uh, serious news. Uh, 
the Miami Dolphins, uh, five assistant coaches are out with COVID. We tested on Friday. And okay. the Dolphins then defeated the Cardinals 34 to 31. On the back of their new quarterback. After people in their team tested, tested positive. positive. Yep. So, so what, their strategy for this is because they claim that they do so much social distancing that they don't come in contact with each other enough. So that's how like a coach can have it. And then like the team still gets to play even though. And that's why the coaches wear masks and team yeah. the players don't. That's the, I, I still think it's, it's a little loosey goosey, but that's what their argument is. Yeah. Well, it's worked for us so far. Uh, <laughs> I, I, it has. It so well, this has totally worked for us so far. Just keep going with it. <clears throat> yeah. So, it's great. Yeah. And uh, breaking news. Pittsburgh also has COVID people on their team now, too. Yeah. And I don't remember what the, the other ones were, but there was like three te- three or four teams uh, that had people tested positive. Um, this just in the last three days, the 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 um the team that the San Francisco the team that I just said uh, was just like Steelers. a couple the Dolphins, uh, Steelers, Dolphins, and Baltimore Ravens. Um, yeah, just all just within the last couple of days, just earlier today. This is what I'm trying to say mm-hmm. for one of them too. Um, with that, the Raiders were dropped. Uh, they got another hammer dropped on them with COVID nineteen oh, violations. Fine, uh, they got fined uh, five hundred thousand dollars, and what was that the coach Gruden got fined one hundred fifty thousand? And of course, yep. they're saying, "Oh, this dr- draconian type of fucking moves." And it's like fuck you guys. Yeah. What are they going to do? What what is the NFL fucking supposed to do? Yeah. This is life yeah. and death. And they they want to just be able to go back to what's comfortable and easy to do. It's like you you got to <clears throat> Listen, everyone else is doing it too. You know it sucks. Everybody, everybody one. knows it fucking sucks. sucks. Yeah, just put up with it like everyone else has. But to. you have to fucking put up with it. You have to take the steps to keep everybody else safe. Otherwise, we're gonna start seeing athletes die on the field. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I don't want that. Hopefully not. No. Yeah. Hopefully we don't see that. <laughs> I don't want that. And I also don't want a fucking full fucking lockdown. But it's going to come to it. If people can't, if people aren't responsible enough, that's what it comes to. They have to do something. They can't just like let people keep dying because people are too stupid. Right? Well, I mean, like they've gotten that so far, so. It for it, it forces it forces pe- it forces people in power's hands to do stuff that they don't fully want. They don't they they don't want to put you in a full lockdown. They want you to be smart enough that you stay home if you don't have to go out, and if you do have to go out, you wear a fucking mask, and you don't go hugging people. You don't go hanging out at a party with your friends, and if you. Do you want to go see your friends? If you can, you hang outside. If you have to stay, go inside, you wear a fucking mask. And you hang out for maybe five, ten minutes. Protect yourself. You protect, protect yourself. yourself you protect your friends. You protect your family. Yeah. And it's going to get Before worse. Before we wreck our collective self. <laughs> and unfortunately, it's going to get worse. This last oh, yeah. weekend was really bad with people forgetting that it's a pandemic, which is not fine. I mean, it's great that we're all celebrating that we have a new president and we don't have to worry about fucking that 45 piece of shit anymore. But 
You can, everyone could have done what I was doing. I was live streaming me dancing for you guys. Oh, <laughs> my sister lives in town, and I asked her uh, if she wanted to hang out, and she's like, "Well, you can come up to my house." And then I didn't respond right away. Then, in about maybe about half an hour later, I video call her, and she's like, "Oh, what's up?" Then I'm like, "I'm not coming up, but I'm hanging out right now." Yeah, here I am. Like, oh, cool. Okay. I mean, you know, we hung out on video chat, even though we live in the same town. She lives like maybe three blocks away. It's like, no, I don't. I don't. We we don't have to be physically together to be able to hang out and talk about stuff and and, and be brother and sister. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I true. Know. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, our friend. Colin would be very happy right now, or would he be? Would he be? Would he be worried? No, he'd be very happy. He's happy right now. The Buffalo the Bills. Game they just had this Sunday was huge. Seven and two. That's they have great. a seven and two. The Buffalo Bills have a seven and two start, first time since nineteen ninety three. And yeah, uh, I could see. Ooh. Colin, talk to talk to us about that nineteen ninety three episode. Uh, 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 season. Yes, he did, and um, I I could see how that could maybe bring some flashbacks of bad times for them. But I think you gotta you gotta get over that hump sometime. Just like we believe the Twins can win a playoff game someday, you know they gotta believe the Bills can win the Super Bowl someday, yeah. and the, the Vikings can make a field goal someday when it's cut, when it's yeah. needed, right? <laughs> I don't maybe. <laughs> can he get over that type of shit? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I can until they do. I don't know if I can. You're right. I don't know if I don't know if Colin could either. We'll have to ask him one of these days. True. We'll have to have him back on. Um, because that is a big, especially when you're young. That's a big detriment to your 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 psyche. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he could. I I bet he's like. I bet he's on the outside. He's really happy and we're like, we're gonna win. But yeah, we're, I, gonna I, win the bills. we're gonna score. I'm we're sure. Gonna win the bills. Watch that football soar. I bet he. Uh, I bet he's worried. I bet he's worried. Um. So that was a big game. What was What was the big game about? They played the Seattle Seahawks, and uh, it was like 37 to 24 or something like that. So then the Bills won, but uh, Josh Allen, their quarterback, I believe, threw five touchdown passes and two of them to Diggs. Diggs put up like almost 150 yards receiving. Good for Get him. the ball to Diggs. Yeah, so this is kind of mind blowing, so, man. It was kind of mind blowing, man. Um, another team that's doing well, uh, Kansas City, 17 and one in their last 18 games, including the playoffs. Wow. 17 and 1. Wow. That's unbelievable. Isn't it? That's over a season. It's just kind of mind blowing, man. Yeah. <laughs> that might be my favorite sounder we have. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I really like this one. Uh, you know, we're not very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> we know. Um,. So, Football. yeah. Uh, I do want to say Pittsburgh Steelers being eight and zero. They might be the worst eight and zero I've ever seen, but they're still a good team. But man, they do not look like an undefeated team. They do not. No, they almost lost to the Cowboys, who were on their fourth string quarterback yesterday. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, they barely won that game. Ooh. Like they came back at the end and were like, "Okay, okay, maybe we should." I guess we're kind of good. So Seattle Seahawks six and two, Pittsburgh Steelers eight and zero, Green Bay Packers six and two, Kansas City Chiefs eight and one, New York New Orleans Saints six and two, Buffalo Bills seven and two, Tampa Bay Buccaneers six and three, Baltimore Ravens six and two. Arizona Cardinals five and three, Tennessee Titans six and two, Rams five and three, Colts five and three, Bears five and four, Dolphins five and three, Forty Niners four and five, Browns five and three, Eagles three and four, Raiders five and three, Detroit three and five, Broncos three and five, Minnesota Vikings three and five. 
Bengals two and five, Falcons three and six, Patriots two and five. Holy fuck! Yeah, he is tanking for Trevor. Panthers three and six, <laughs> Texans two and six, Washington Football Team two and six, Chargers two and six, Cowboys two and seven, Jaguars one and seven, Giants two and seven, and New York Jets zero and nine. Yeah, zero oh and nine. That's bad. Ouch. Why why you gotta go and beat the team that's 0 and 8? <laughs> yeah. <What the laughs> right? why, why do you gotta go and do that? This is like the pretty rude. Call them earlier. Tryhards. Yeah, tryhards. Why you gotta be a tryhard? They, they had they had to go all they're losing. They're like, oh uh let's go try hard against the 0 and 8 team. They'll show that we're good. I don't get it. And it goes against the unwritten rules of football. <laughs> Gotta yeah, say, I like football. I like the name uh, Washington Football Team. I do too. I think they should keep that. I don't know if we touched on that yet, but just want to mention that. Um, uh, anything else with the NFL? No, that's uh, were, I the NFL's they... over now. <laughs> yeah, wasn't that? <laughs> What's that? I thought that was the whole season. That cricket. Yep. Cricket NFL's over board. now. That's it. That's it for the NFL. Yep. <clears throat> yep. For the NFL. We voted a new president. The NFL's over. Until we get <laughs> the breaking news uh, when they decide to schedule the next game. Yep. <laughs> that's how that's how football works now. Yep. We just wait and like see. Monday. <laughs> Monday. Monday. We got the next Monday. game will be Monday. Um. So okay. Uh, on to MLS. The MLS. MLS. We, just had, we just had decision day yesterday. What does that mean? Decision day is the last day of the regular season. So all the teams play at once and you find out your final bracket of who's going to make it to the playoffs, where they're going to be seated and who your opponent will be. Okay. So that was yesterday. Okay. And that was the, uh, like they have to make a big decision at that time. The decision they if they win or lose. Are they making the decision guys? Do they Every make football player? Do they make a decision on the field and make a decision. decision for himself? Do they make a decision? They yep, and they made the what decision happened? to win. What they happened? Won three zero, and some made the other decision to lose. Well, yet many uh, you know, made a decision good. to just play. As best as they could and see where it goes. I don't know. Maybe so, something will come of it. If not, no biggie. So does that mean we're like the first seed in the playoffs? I believe we're the fourth seed. Okay. Um. So we play in the first round. Okay. Uh, against that? Colorado. And that's not until Sunday, November 22nd. That's not too far off. Okay. No. But mm. uh, they have some games in between there. But it's still like kind of the first wild cardish first round type of games. Oh, yeah, uh, the oh, oh, it's like okay, Minnesota does have a couple more games. Like the playoffs no. start soon. No. no, playoffs start soon. Okay, uh, I think it's a week. They have a week off, and then like they have like one or two games a day. They don't do like all of them at once. <clears throat> okay, so I yeah, like that. Um, I and then like they that. have some teams are on a buy. Um, but like, you know, most of the teams have to play in the first round. So, okay. I, I like that. I like that. Um, so the 22nd is when the Minnesota loons, um, play next, uh, the first round yep. of the playoffs. That will be a lot of fun. Uh, we will remind everybody, um, on our, uh, on the Facebooks and the Twitters when that game's going on. So you can uh, we'll tune in with here. us. We'll still be here, even though it's not a Monday. Um, so make sure to, if you haven't yet, I don't know how you want to, if you're already listening to us, but we are on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You just look up Fuzz Jock Radio uh, on the Facebooks, Twitters, and Instagram and follow us. Uh, we have updates throughout the week about different sporting things, different things that are going on in our lives, uh, spicy memes from Jamez. It's, it's it's they're pretty fun account they're fun accounts to to follow and then you're just reminded of when to watch some sporting events with us uh eventually we will have a twitch stream 
um, where we hang out with our fans while we watch sporting events. Um, mm-hmm. It's a new feature that's coming up that we that we are very excited to bring to you. Um, and also, uh, make sure to check out fuzztalkradio.com. Um, fuzz, the thing that you're listening to right now, it has music that plays 24 hours, seven days a week. And then it has also shows that go live uh, throughout the throughout the week, uh, as in on Sundays. Uh, this dude named Dagger Chuck does a punk rock skate rock uh, uh, show on Sunday nights from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. Um, we also have uh, from Mankato to Motown on Wednesday nights and the Rabbit Hole. On Thursday nights, and the Ethan Cleric rebroadcast show on Fridays. So there's a lot, lot to listen to, a lot of content to um, take in, and it's all positive. So better get started, and it's all <laughs> yeah, you better get started, <laughs> and it's all about positivity. Uh, none of it's there's no negativeness, um, because there's enough negativeness in the world, and we like to just mm-hmm. spread positive vibes. So um, that's my spiel for the night. Uh, make sure to support us and go to our sites. Fuzztalkshop.com. Fuzztalkshop.com. Buy a t-shirt. Oh, we should have mix. We're going to make some new t-shirts here soon. Yeah. Yeah. That's, we we're going to make that. one that says, I don't like that. Yeah, I got that on the, I got that on the board over here. Yeah. T-shirt ideas. Mm-hmm. Well, the, only the, only the best make it to the board. Only the spiciest of t-shirt ideas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I just want to um, validate a certain level of, of negative feelings as being okay. It's fine. Because uh, while well, positivity can be, be strong, um, you know, we don't want to detract from, um, I don't know, just, uh, you know, there there are concerning things happening and it is a normal reaction uh if if you're not positive about things so i, I want to advocate for that uh, well, absolutely absolutely uh jms is absolutely right uh no if you're not feeling positive your feelings are still valid mm-hmm. and your feelings are na- absolutely natural and it's okay it's okay to feel angry, and it's okay to feel stressed and have anxiety. Hmm? Make sure when you're feeling I'm doing that doing it way, right now. <laughs> make sure that when you're feeling that way, however, just make sure to you know reach out and talk to people, um, and try to you know definitely try to quell anger and frustration and and emotions in my mind. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Don't let it fester. You know, it's good to feel it, but I also feel that you you shouldn't, you definitely shouldn't bottle it up, bottle it mm. up, and you shouldn't let it fester. And at the same time, I'm not a therapist, <laughs> so I like maybe your own emotions are your own emotions, and they're natural, and you should be able to you de- definitely deal with them the way that you feel is the 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 most the best way to deal with your your yourself. Care yo. And with that, we've got some baseball awards. If you feel good about having a baseball awards, definitely feel okay about it. If you don't feel good about having baseball awards, don't feel good about it. That's okay. Either way is okay. It's fine. It's just go baseball. <laughs> baseball. <laughs> what happened? It's not my baseball. Baseball <laughs> is fun again in Minnesota. It is. <laughs> Everyone, oh, oh, did twins win? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, twins win. The twins win. Nelson Cruz was named the Marvin Miller Man of the Year. That's fantastic. Uh, it's so annually awarded uh, to player the players that his peers most respect based on his leadership on the field and in the community. I don't That's know who stuff. Marvin Miller is, but. Uh, I got a friend named Marvin, and he is one of the greatest guys. I mean, 
he'll tell like it is sometimes, but uh, he's 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 a caring and intelligent man. If he tells it like it is, then he must have told you that Nelson Cruz was yeah a good guy. He would have said that. Yeah. If I asked, I I may I might call him later and ask him what he thinks of Nelson Cruz. So we'll get the <laughs> we'll get we'll get the my friend Marvin uh, award yeah. for Nelson Cruz. <laughs> That doesn't make sense. It does, though. Um, so congratulations, to Nelson Cruz. Yeah, that's really good. Um, um, right away, <laughs> the next topic. Right away, back into COVID. Um, oh yeah. So Justin Turner, we found out had COVID during the the World Series. And then we just found out that five members also um, Dodgers organization tested positive for COVID. But not great. Yeah, so none it, of you know, them were inside the bubble. So it's a second outbreak, actually. What? I thought. I, no, not no. I thought that the because Justin had it. Five members got got it from Justin. No. Right? No? no. How do you mean? No. How do you mean? Oh, how does that work? Like that's they from the other facility uh so i don't know they had two outbreaks though two completely different outbreaks unrelated to each other wow so like there wasn't back trace to justin at all nope what the fuck oh i don't know man he's probably traced to someone that doesn't make sense (laughs) you trace it but they did they did uh do an investigation into Justin Turner after he came out uh and celebrated on the field with the team mm-hmm. and uh they concluded that they would not punish him. Yeah, he learned. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Why he... cuz he was just too excited that he forgot. Yeah. That's part of it. Um, MLB kind of took responsibility and he took responsibility for what he did. Like he admitted he was dumb and made a dumb mistake and endangered people's lives. And Manfred also kind of accepted that baseball made a mistake and not getting him out of the facility immediately. And so Manfred actually have a quote said with this in mind, I am closing this matter by applauding Justin for accepting responsibility, apologizing and uh, making a commitment to set a positive example going forward. Okay. And nobody oh. from that got sick, right? No. So then, yeah, at why least... don't, why make it? It's more of a mute point at, at that point, I right. think. Um, and so that's that, that's good. Good on them. And then also, you know, kind of eye op- or eye, eye awakening for them, you know, like, holy shit. <laughs> like, look how close this was. Fuck. Yeah. This could have been really bad. This could have been, been really lucky. bad. Turn that way. Get lucky. Huh. Yeah. Get the, twins the, the twins win. The twins win. The twins are in the postseason. Yeah. Let's go, twins. <laughs> you wondering what we're talking about? Well, the KBO. Remember them? We started at the very beginning of the season. Did we talk about it last this season, season at all? Or was it just all last season when we did yeah, last season? This season. Um, we talked about it once this season. The KBO yeah. uh, is now in postseason. <clears throat> uh, they're the and the um, our LG Twins. Uh, they got into the bracket and they won their first game against the um, the Heroes on November first. So they would have to. They had to play the Doosan Bears on the fourth. Oh, they're bitter rivals, the Doosan Bears. And how yep. did they do in that one? Well, the twins about- win. <laughs> they won against the heroes, mm-hmm. but sadly, they did not uh, beat the Doosan Bears. Um, they lost in two games back to back to them oh. and were not able to go on forward, but they won a playoff game. So I think that counts for a Twins playoff game, thus ending the drought of a playoff Curse. victory for the Twins. The Twins win. The curse is broken. It's it's broken. The curse, the curse is, is over. Curse is broken, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Earth is so. broken. Yep. And then with that, the Doosan Bears advance to play the KT Wiz. And uh, they are up one game to zero on the KT Wiz right now. And it's a best of five series. Okay. So this, 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 uh, I'm looking at this bracket, which should be posted on our Facebook right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so just go to facebook.com slash fuzzjock radio or something. But, mm-hmm. um, the, the, the bracket looks weird. Like, okay. Yeah. So, so, okay. So the twins. They were the 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 wild card game it was a best of three. Mm-hmm. And then LG the Twins started with one game, a one game series lead. Yes, they got a they got a free win by being the better team, the higher bracket or higher seeded team in the wild card. They got granted a win automatically. Okay. So all they had to do was win one game, as we had to win two. Okay. Yep. And then the next game would be against the Doosan Bears, who hadn't played anybody since right. regular right. season. They just mm-hmm. moved on to the semi playoffs because you know they're they're not the wild card, right? Yep. Best of three se- series, and then the best of three of that series goes on to the playoff game, which is going against T- KT Wiz. Which is a best of three, best of five right. series, mm-hmm. which KT Wiz, and this is November 9th, hasn't played since regular season. They just went straight into the playoffs. And then the winner of that, the, that playoff game uh, series goes to the Korean series, the, the finals, the finals, right? Mm-hmm. Against KC Dinos, the Dinos just go straight into the finals Final game. Mm-hmm. for a best of seven series, and wow. the Dinos haven't played since regular season, and it's November seventeenth at that point. <laughs> that's a pretty good. That's a big it's, break for them. It's in a big break. The last they, game they, they play in the finals, they haven't had to play their way up to the finals. They're just in the finals because they're the best yeah. and meanwhile they can watch their opponent play all these games mm-hmm. <laughs> until they get to them or I think or it could just be the kt wiz who hasn't played a game this whole time yeah <laughs> until their game it's just it's weird it's a it's a weird bracket but it's neat like i think it i like it, I like it. it's different I think it it it's more reflective of how the series or the season plays out because I think my one thing with playoffs is that's a very American like thing with sports and it's too random. It should have there should be more weight on winning a season. If you're the best team mm-hmm. in your league, th- I, you should get more benefit for that. I suppose I've never thought of that. I I've never thought of that. You know, like uh, at the end once. Once you're at the end of the season, what benefit do you have to be the top dogs of that season? Yeah, you get uh, like what one bye week? One bye week. That's about it. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Okay. Cool. So, or one, one ho- home field advantage. Home field advantage for you get an extra game. Is it really that like okay? I guess that's that's good. You want that. It's not like you don't want. But then that, after but like, wild after the wild card games, like everything, everybody's back at the same plateau, right? Yeah, exactly. Basically, everybody's so back at zero during the playoffs. Yeah, think about this. In soccer, like in you know real soccer football, you win the the season. You've won. That's it. You've won it. You, there is no playoffs. You've won the whole thing that, because that's what it is. You're the best. You proved you're the best. You beat every team the most, and you've proven you're the best. You've won. Yeah, that's you don't need to do it again it. in a micro version of the then same you just thing. do it. Yeah, then you just do cups and you play little versions of these things and you beat the teams and see who's the best of these brackets. But it's hmm. never the season. You win the season by winning. Mm-hmm. That's that's how it is. I that's why I've always thought playoffs is an American thing. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. You can see being random, you know, by being so random. Yep. I got a chance for the underdog to come. Yeah, he wants Cinderella stories. Mm-hmm. Those are fun. 
They are. The United States loves their Cinderella story. That's for sure. That's for sure. Yep. Uh, speaking of a Cinderella story, uh, the, we are still waiting on the draft in the NBA, uh, so not a whole lot of news coming out of that, other than the Timberwolves pretty much trolling, <laughs> trolling on Twitter. They keep, Why? they keep on like seriously, like, they keep on putting up. Well, well, this guy is looking to make a name in the NBA. What do you think about him? <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, shut up. And like I saw fans say, "Shut up, <laughs> like, <laughs> shut up." This isn't like, our choice. That wouldn't that look hor like they, like they're like wouldn't that look horrible if the the Timberwolves actually picked this guy? <laughs> yeah, and then people like trade down, and then people are like, "Well, they actually also have what the third and seventh, the seventh and eleventh pick as well." So get them too. Get whatever. Them. I don't up. know. Just shut up. Pick your. The draft can't come soon enough, and it really reminds me of what just happened in in American politics. It's just like like the election can't just get done it soon enough, or the you know what I mean? Yeah, it couldn't come soon enough, and it couldn't end soon enough. It's like I can't wait for this fucking draft to get here. Yeah, because like the it's exciting. It's really exciting yeah. that the Timberwolves have the first first it round. Changed pick. the trajectory of this team for a long time. What you, they do on draft night, it really can. And everybody thinks that they know who they're going to pick or what they're going to do, but nobody knows because they're trolling everybody. Uh, who, uh, However, uh, Malik, Beasley was, Malik Beasley was not trolling. Uh, he pointed a fucking firearm at a family that was cruising through his neighborhood looking looking at houses to buy. Whoa! Yeah, he's charged with using a rifle to threaten a family who was house hunting in his uh, neighborhood in the uh, suburban Minneapolis. And I know that Minneapolis has been. Wait a minute! I didn't even put this together. Maybe he, maybe he was. I don't know. You shouldn't pull guns on people, but I know. I was just gonna say, I know Minneapolis has been. Uh, worrisome as of late. Uh, there's been a lot of Boogala boys uh, running around and mm-hmm. a lot of shady shit going on. A lot of people posing as Antifa P- trying to start trouble. Posing, you know. Yeah, posing. They end up being white... Boogaloo boys Boogaloo, as Antifa. Yeah, a lot of Boogaloo boy action going on and people have been having to protect themselves. And maybe this is what happened. Uh, however, the, so I'm just going to read this report that was on the NBA news. So we can't, we don't get anything fucking messed up or anything. And I, we're not into conspiracy theories, but I just thought, I just thought of that, you know, maybe he was worried about that. Somebody was casing his joint, you know, and he's like, I'm going to come out there and protect my, my land. Uh, Timberwolves guard Malik Beasley is charged with using a rifle to threaten a family who was house hunting in his neighborhood in suburban Minneapolis. Beasley was charged Thursday in Hennepin County District Court with threats of violence and drug possession. His wife, Montagna, uh, was charged with a felony drug count. According to a criminal complaint, a couple on a parade of homes tour last month with their 13-year-old child pulled up to the Plymouth home rented by Beasley and Yao, but saw it was roped off. Beasley tapped on the window of the family's SUV pointed a rifle at them and told them to get off his property. Prosecutors said Beasley continued to train the rifle at the SUV as it drove off. The comp- criminal complaint said police said they searched Beasley in Yao's home and found a 12 gauge shotgun, a handgun and an automatic rifle that matched the description given by the couple in the SUV. Police said that they also found leafy marijuana in the home Possessing marijuana is in, in its original leafy form in Minnesota is illegal. Defense attorneys Steve Haney and Ryan uh, Pakai issued a statement saying that we are cooperating with the law enforcement investigation and will carefully review the discovery in coming days. 
The Minnesota Timberwolves issued a statement saying they are aware of the charges and we take these allegations seriously and will let the legal process run its course. The charges come only one day after Wolves Executive Vice President uh, addressed the team's salary cap uh, situation and said there should be room to sign Beasley. He is a restricted free agent and averaged 20.7 points in 14 games with Wolves in this past season. So, yeah, who knows what was going on. Um, It's unfortunate. I guess that's all we can really say about it because we don't know fully what what happened. Yeah. I saw another report saying that there was a note next to the marijuana saying uh, with instructions on how to ingest the marijuana like how to smoke it which was really weird but Mm. um but i don't know sucks more to come later it sucks because he's going to be in a lot of legal trouble now oh yeah um he's not going to be able to just get out of it nope yeah because having a firearm and drugs is Pointing never... a firearm at a fucking vehicle with a 13-year-old kid in it? That's not good. No, no. Here's here's the thing. That's 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 a horrible that's a horrible thing. And if there's any um any question as to maybe uh there was some kind of motive uh of protection for malik bleasley um hopefully that does come out in the legal process and uh, until then uh yeah you can't really speculate on that yeah we can't yeah we can't we can't and i i would say too this just goes to show like not that he was inspired by this but this is what happens when you have someone like a president allows people who hold guns at people walking across their yard show up to their convention, it's going to inspire people to think that's okay to do. Yeah. To I mean, guns out in public and protect yourself, quote unquote. It seems like that has been okay for a lot of people to do in yeah, other is. situations. So yeah. <clears throat> maybe it's not okay for anyone to do. Yeah. Maybe that's just how you it should. should. None of you should. Yeah. Put them up your butts. That's what you should do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll be here all week. Oh, uh, okay. Um, moving on. Uh, the links doesn't don't they don't have a whole lot of news going on. Uh, on their website, they po- are starting to post um t- uh player descriptions, and look look who's coming. Uh, player roster reviews. Shanice Ooh. Johnson uh, is featured, uh, and here's a quote by uh, Coach Reeve. Uh, we have long been a Shanice Johnson fan and are excited to add her multidimensional skill sets to our talented group. Uh, Mo will bolster our perimeter, per, per, perimeter game with her abilities as a scorer, rebounder, passer, and defender. Um. And then they also had uh, Kayla and Alexander up there. And Reeves' uh, quote about her was that she's uh, trim, long. She's a natural shot blocker. Uh, she does things necessary to keep herself on the floor. So make sure to go to the WNBA's website. Uh, uh, the links is uh, a portion of that. And check out the player descriptions. Um, we are starting to get ramped up for the 2021 season. 21 21 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 the legendary host of the game show Jeopardy uh, died Sunday of pancreatic cancer. Uh, he was 80 years old and loved NHL. Um, he was at all the games that he could make it to. Uh, he was quoted that uh, he would drop anything for the NHL uh, anytime they called at his beck and call. 
That's awesome. Yeah, dude. Um, That's really cool. And so they had a big memorial for him. Um, I mean, he fought for a while with that cancer shit, man. And fuck cancer, dude. Um, yeah. I lost a couple friends from it, and it sucks. Um, but, you know, he lived a lot. He lived a great life, and he did a lot of great things, and a lot of people looked up to him, so... Um, definitely didn't die in vain. Um, we haven't talked about the Olympic Olympics in a while, guys. Oh, is that, are they going to do an Olympics? The media they said did? what? The Olympics. The media said what? The Olympics. Yeah, they're coming back. I think. Well, at least they're going to, they're going to have a video conference, uh, through a secure electronic system. On Wednesday, eleventh, November twentieth. That's coming up. That's uh, it's like two days, right? They have to make sure that it's through a secure electronic thing, so that like yep. uh, can get through their Zoom call. It's a sec- <laughs> It's exactly what they're using. They're using Zoom, <laughs> the most secure of electronics. Oh wait, no, it's not. No, I wonder what I am curious what they would use to like um protect themselves for this cuz like they yeah, they can't just use maybe they use Discord. The International Olympic Committee executive board will meet remotely by video conference through a secure electronic system on Wednesday 11th, November 2020. The EB is scheduled to receive updates on the activities of the IOC administration and reports from the organizing committees. Uh, the IOC will be holding a press conference open to the media with IOC president at the end of the meeting. Photos of the beginning of the IOC executive board meeting will be available on Flickr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see those photos of people sitting in front of computers. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we, we're going to link to that Flickr account yeah. On, yeah. Uh, on our Twitters. Yep. Doing it right now. Fire. Um. So I mean, clearly, clearly, we're not close to being able to do this. I mean, I can't imagine when uh, next summer is their plan. This is in the world they're having second wave going on right now. You know, unless they unless uh, they know uh, something. Well, you know, we are making. I, I do believe that strides are great. Strides being made towards our vaccine development, uh, even still. I don't know. Dude. There's a lot of time, man. There's a lot know. of time for that to work itself out. I don't know, dude. It is the Olympics. It is. It is the Olympics, and they have. I mean, they have special powers going on in the world. The Olympic, the Olympics people, man, they have something going on. Like the Pope. They have all the gold. They have all the gold. I mean, that's all that's five. how they're able. They have all the gold, all the silver, and all the bronze. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how they can give out them out as medals, without worrying about it. You know, that's that why it's free to them. Yeah, Whoa. and and so I'm, I'm I'm more than willing to bet they're gonna have a secure conference, and they're gonna say, "We got a plan. Don't worry. Everybody's gonna get the vaccine at this date, and we're gonna open back up and." Blah 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 blah, and yeah, it's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Or they're gonna build uh, essentially a biodome for that's, for Olympians to live in for the next that's, year. That's what yes. they're gonna talk. That's exactly what they're gonna do. That's what they're gonna talk about. Yep, yep. And we're gonna be surprised, and we're gonna be like, oh my god! Oh, didn't see that coming. Look at that flick. <laughs> look at that Flickr account. Look at all those photos. <laughs> well, guess what? Breaking news. You heard it here first. <laughs> oh, man. And the athletes are going to have to go with it. Yeah. There's going to be so many Olympian babies after that. I guess we're in a Poly Shore sequel now. <laughs> and that's how we're going to ask how the human race is going to survive the end of the world. <laughs> all the Olympian yeah. babies. Yep, we thought it was going to be the NBA bubble. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's the Olympian bubble. It's going to right. take up all of Japan. 
<laughs> Are they going to build a, a, a island? Just build it around New Zealand. Oh man, I wish I had Olympic the, Island. I wish I had the <laughs> yeah. Fight Island soundbite. That's the only soundbite I didn't put in there. <laughs> the only one. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, well, um, here we are. Here we are. Breaking news, everybody. Okay. The twins win. Twins always win, though. They do. Twins just win. That's all they can do. A little late for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, AEW, guys. We're we're into the AEW portion of this of the night. If you want to turn it off, you can. I would suggest not to, because we have some we have some reviews of Full Gear. Yeah, Full Gear probably I would say their best pay per view. Yeah, I would say so. They all had that uh, gear on their face tattoo. Pretty (laughs) dope. Yeah, they went all the way in getting those face tattoos of the. Couldn't believe it. But yeah, no, no, it was it was really dope. Um, are we starting off from the top? John? Let's go from the bottom. Okay, so bottom. we have the uh, sure. we have the we have the comedy match with the Orange Cassidy and the John Silver, and it was comedic as hell. John Silver is a comedian. Um, he took he took Orange Cassidy's pockets out. Yeah, he. Re- <laughs> that so, that's has to be that's a reference just, to the Jim power. Barnett. It has to be. Jim Cornette, yeah. uh, this podcaster, uh, hates hates Orange Cassidy and says that he would just love to be able to. because So Orange Cassidy, as a super move, puts his hands up over his head and then puts his hands in his pockets. That's the source of his power. And, that's the, and the crowd of, goes and the crowd wild, goes wild. When he does it. It's crazy. And it's, it's nothing, but it's cool. Um, and then this cornet dude's like, I hate that so much. And I would just, he calls him Mr. Pockets. And then he's like, I wish I, I, I would just rip his pockets out and throw him across the ring and slap him and tell him he's not a wrestler or shit like that, whatever. And um, so during this match, his opponent, John Silver, went ahead and tore Cassidy's pockets out, pockets out and threw him across the, across the ring. So it had, it had to have been a reference. He can't win after that. No. <laughs> who well, he, who did won? he win? He did. Yeah. Oh. Yep. He found two came out victorious mm. against John Silver of the Dark Order. And then we had the uh, the elite deletion match with uh, Matt Hardy versus uh, Sammy Guevara, um, which was, was a cinematic a match. Cinematic match. Which, which do you know what a cinematic match is, James? This is a movie. Basically, it's a movie of a match. Um, it's pre-shot, <clears throat> and so it's edited. Yeah. But um, it's the third part to a story he's been telling uh, through multiple leagues of wrestling. I don't remember which one he first did it on. <clears throat> it might have been Impact or something like that. But um, he did the first uh, deletion, which was with his brother, and then in WWE, he did another one with Bray Wyatt. And then in AEW now, he's done one with Sammy Guevara. Yes. And each one references the previous one. And so there's tons of references to the other matches in them. So they, they happened in different leagues, <laughs> like yeah. d- different conference or different. Le- what do you call them? Yeah, there we go. Different leagues. leagues. So, what was the first one? Impact, and then WWE, then WWE, and then yep. AEW. Which, yep. at the same time, over multiple years, like what was yeah. the span of years that he's done this? Uh, like when was the ooh, very first one? It might, like ten it might years been, ago. It might have been ten years ago. Yeah, something like that. So, like that long, like definitely that long. If it's not ten years, it's close. Seven. And uh, yeah, so he's he started started the story, and with cinematic features, and has been able to yeah keep it going. And it's crazy. And he has references uh, to all the previous ones, and he has this uh, little flying drone that's part of it. And does Matt want to be a film director deep down? Yeah, 
I bet yes. it's <laughs> true passion. Yeah. The whole time. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And so uh, that that was pretty, pretty dope. Uh, Chris Jericho Gangrel versus. Showed up in it. What's that? Gang. Oh, yeah. Then Gangrel showed up in it from the old W, like the old WWE Gangrel. The old attitude. And then era. the Hurricane. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forget that guy's name, but yeah, he was there too. The Green Hurricane or whatever. Chris yeah. Jericho versus MGF. Uh, MGF won in that, and was allowed in the Jericho's inner circle. Mm-hmm. Great match. A bunch of the techniques. induction is going to be on Wednesday, so that should be really fun. And the rest of the inner circle are going to be pissed off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens with Sammy. I mean, Sammy technically got deleted. True. Yeah, Tegan. Hardy beat him, so maybe he won't be there anymore. Um Adam Page versus Kenny Omega, the match that we all knew was gonna happen in the in the bracket match. Uh the mm-hmm. AEW World Championship Eliminator Tournament finals match. Uh Kenny Omega beat Adam Page, which I kind of pretty much figured was gonna happen. Yeah. That was no surprise there, but it was a good match. They they did a good job um, having the two um, just do their styles very well. Um, I don't know. It was just good. It's, I didn't expect a lot from this match, oddly. It seemed like the least exciting one because of how good this card was. That it was the one that I was like, well, I mean, whatever. And it opened the... It was one of the first matches, too, so it, it kind of worked out for me that it happened that way. But, uh, and then we had the uh, uh, Akira Shida and Nyla Rose uh, singles match for the AEW Women's Championship. And of course, we all were thinking that Nyla Rose is gonna just kick the shit out of Shida and win. Nope. Mm-hmm. AEW nope. flipped the squ- script on us, and Shida won again. Yeah, she did not go Still home rain. to Japan. Yeah. We totally thought she was going to go home to Japan. Yeah. Uh, Cody Today. versus uh, Darby Allen, and Darby Allen won that game. That uh, was unbelievable. He won the TNT Championship. Yep, and then he, they did it by they kept doing reversal pins, and then like the it was like the third one or fourth one. Darby locked it in and got the three count, and it was like Cody was shocked, Darby was shocked, the crowd was shocked, everyone was just like, "What is happening?" And it was a great moment, though. Everyone was really happy for Darby. But then uh, Team Taz came out and beat the shit out of uh, Darby Allen. And uh, then Will Hobbs came and saved the day. So uh, it's uh, it very interesting. Then FDR versus uh, the Young Bucks. And uh, once again, they they um, flipped the script. And the Young Bucks won the tag team match yes. uh, for the AEW Tag Team Championship. The- Wonderful match. I could not believe how great that was. And then uh, John Moxley versus Eddie Kingston for the I Quit match, and we knew that John Moxley was going to win. Uh, but mm-hmm. man, did they put their bodies on the line there? Oh yeah, that, that was... barbed wire, the ending, the final move that ended that match, barbed wire around the neck or on his arm, like that was. Oof! I thought blood was going to come pouring out of his throat. You know, so that's <laughs> okay, that's something I want to touch on here real quick. Is that I know that you know, like you're not somebody that likes seeing uh violence on the football field or you don't like seeing injuries on the basketball court but when that match that i quit match was happening where they were taking barbed wire and getting everybody all bloody and shit like you're like oh this is great this is the best thing ever i wish they did more of this stuff look at all and i'm just sitting there like look how fucking bloody they are that's gross they're gr- that's gross. What the hell? What are you talking about? You hate that's- injuries. Like what the fuck? What seat ups? What? Look at all those pathogens. Look at all those blood pathogens. Gross. So I, the reason I like it or I don't mind it for wrestling is because um I don't mind when it's staged. Like when they know because I I did amateur backyard wrestling with friends and I've done a first blood match. So I've I've bladed. It wasn't bad. It was fine. I was hmm. a kid and I did it. I was like 14. So since they, they know like, they're going to get hurt, it's... Yeah, they know. They know what they're in for. They, they're they not going to get that hurt. They also do it 
with precautions in mind to make sure they don't actually get hurt. That's why I don't like when mistakes happen and they do get hurt. Like uh. I could bear, I can barely watch um, all out because Matt Hardy gets hurt. You know, like that was not. Well, I, with wrestling, that, how do you know it's a mistake and what's not a mistake? Uh, it's just the case. Well, is just it just the belief? Faith. Is it the belief that you just that you have to just the 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 faith that you take with wrestling when the beliefs like they that that faith jump or whatever you call that the faith jump faith. you know the leap of faith the faith jump part of it is the belief of jump is knowing the, the background so I know. I know like how it works. Mm. I know how the, 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 you know, how the match is actually set up to, to not hurt them. So that's why I like, cause I know that in, I know that kind of stuff I've watched oh, okay. and heard podcasts and videos okay. that I know these things. And so that makes me comfortable in knowing that like, even though they were using barbed wire, it wasn't razor blade barbed wire. Okay. You know? Yeah. So like, it's still the, it's not rubber like in WWE, which is just phony. It's still real, but it's not going to actually hurt them like the the re- Mankind death match that he did in Japan with barbed wire ring. That's razor barbed wire. That is going to slice you up no matter what. Yeah, no I've shit. Been- razor wire. Yeah, it's, it's, it's oof. Yeah, not fun. So that there's a difference, and that's, that's why I can get behind that is because I know it's all superficial injuries like thumbtacks thumbtacks are tiny little pokes in your body you heal the next day it's just looks brutal yeah so that's that's just how i that's why i can put up with that even though like you said i'm not a, i'm not into injuries i'm not into hurting i'm not into like i, I don't like people getting punched in the face in boxing <laughs> it looks good painful. news everyone good news <laughs> everyone Oh, hey, it's Fuzzy Memory Trivia Time, which we Ooh, all man. know at the end of the show, we talk about a couple of trivia things, and then they answer a couple of the trivia answers. I'm the one that asks the questions, and they are the ones that answer the questions. Does that make sense? And we often give intentional wrong answers so that you do not catch on to how smart we truly are. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's. I don't know. I don't know. We're showing you how much of experts we are. I don't know if that's exactly what's going on. Uh, I got a score of six to five. All right. C Dubs, Jamez. So he's got six twenty five. What do I got? You got, (laughs) and you got what? He's got 625, so what do I got? I think you have 625 as well. I think it's tied. Oh, that's a lot of points. 625 to 625. Here we go. Oh, boy. Ready? Are you ready for this? Probably not. I'm ready. I'm it's prepped. It's a buzzing. Remember, remember, it's buzzing. Bloop. How many home runs did Mark McGuire hit in the 1988 World Series? Buzz. Buzz. Jamez. One. Correct. Correct. Who was Eric Radford partner in the mixed pairs figure skating at the night at the twenty eighteen Winter Olympics? Who was Eric's partner in the mixed pairs? Figure skating at the 2018 Winter Olympics. First day. Buzz. C dubs. Groucho Marx. Incorrect. It was Megan. Oh, Megan. Megan Marx. It's Megan Marx. Yeah. Uh, what African country fielded a men's volleyball team that qualified for the 2008 Olympics? Buzz. Jamez. Um, Chad. Incorrect. C-dubs for the steal? Uh, Jeremiah. Incorrect. Egypt. Who is the athlete who was banned for life from the Olympics in 2004? Oh, bringing it back to the Olympics here. Incorrect. 
Dwayne Chambers. Dwayne Anthony Chambers is a British track sprinter. He has won international medals at world and European level and is one of the fastest European sprinters in the history of athletics. His primary event is the 100 meters with the best of 9.97 seconds, which ranks him fifth on the British all-time list. Was he too quick? I don't know. In baseball, what is another name for a walk? Buzz. Jamez. Base on balls. Correct. You get another point there. Um, AEW related. The Carolina Panthers set an NFL season record for what in 2001? Buzz. C dubs. Uh, yards against uh, rushing yards against an opponent. Most consecutive losses. Oh, most consecutive. against the Jaguars. <laughs> and that is fuzzy memory trivia, and we are done with this the episode. Aww. Oh yeah, that like uh, that closed up quick. It seems like, but we actually are over time. That was a marathon. Overtime. Overtime. Yeah, we didn't get our overtime, so we made our overtime. Oh, guys, you remember that? Oh, that was, that was <laughs> some, something else. Dude, I wouldn't know nearly as much as I do about uh, aerial sports. Yeah, without overtime, extreme, awesome, Excalibur. That was, Excalibur. A, good, that was a cool segment. Yeah, at least it had a cool name. We should bring something like that back. Yeah. Was that too much work? We can we can bring it all back. We could bring it all back. Bring it all back. Well, guys, we are done with the show. Um, we always like to end the show with uh, what we're gonna do next week. If you don't, if you forgot, is it this week now? What is next week? This week. This is is this week next week already, or is next week this week? This coming week is next week. Is it the past week? Next week will be after that. It could be next week though. Probably. What? I don't know. I really don't know. Real next. It's just week. kind of mind blowing, man. Jamez, what are you doing next week? Um, probably just uh staying home. Um, trying to stay home as much as possible. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's getting kind of crazy out there. I love indoors right now. I just the indoors. <laughs> dude. Yeah, I know. There's way more video games in here. There are a lot of video <laughs> games out right now. Way more video games inside than outside. There are a lot more video games inside than there are outside. I don't, I've, I've never thought of it that way. Yeah, I think more. a lot more people should start thinking of that way. What about yeah. the video games, guys? Yeah. There and also, there are two. I'm sorry, I'm taking over your time of what you're going to do this next week. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna play video games, grocery store. Mm -hmm. uh, if I can, I'm gonna wear a mask and like go in like the odd, um, like three thirty in the morning when there's like three people there. Unfortunately, they're not open right now at that time. No, Cub Foods is open 24 hours downtown. Yeah, we got one grocery store. Or, or you could or you could order some groceries and I can go pick them up because I I'm, I'm I'm delivering. I'm I'm helping people stay home by yeah. going out for people. That's what I'm going to be doing this next week. Sometimes like, stuff. Be a hero fuzzy. And then just stay and then other other than that staying inside. And every time I go out to go get something for somebody, um, I'm putting on a mask and staying away from everybody else. And I use this little door handle thing to open up doors. Mm -hmm. the, the little key thing? Yep. Yep, I've seen those. Yep. And I have gloves and I have hand sanitizer in my car. And uh, I also wanted to say that the X new Xbox and PlayStation are coming out this week. Oh, whoa. And you know what's really cool? Breaking news. 
You got one? No. No. I didn't pre order. But <laughs> this I have enough video games to play. But the play, the Sony is not allowing it to be in stores on their release. They're only right. allowing people to pre order and order them online. So like if they're like, oh, if somebody's like, I wanted to buy one from Walmart. No. You, you can't go to the Too store. Bad. You can't home. you can't go and line up in front of Walmart and get them. Yeah, um, on launch day, you had to either pre-order it and you can just go in, pick it up, or it's delivered to you. They, they don't have any in store, which is dope during this yeah. pandemic. They're, Sony's fucking thinking. Good job, Sony. I did not get one of those. I got games up the wazoo to play and finish. Sony, we will give up sponsorships for free PlayStation yes. 28. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Three PlayStation 5s, please. Yeah, please. And, just three. Uh, our next season, we will dedicate five seconds of ad space per episode. Contact you know me. what? I, 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 PS5. I, I vow to someday buy a PS5 just because they they chose to do that. And uh, that's a great call for humanity, knowing how much people would uh, claw and climb over each other to uh, be in person and cough on each other to get a playstation isn't that dope <laughs> yeah it is because they're, they're losing a lot of money on it I, I i would think whatever i'm gonna buy one someday i will too i'm going to too c-dubs what do you got going on next week c-dubs uh, i'm gonna keep waking up at six in the morning i guess buzz Doc radio ready now oh, 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 oh. Radio.